Hello guys and welcome back. It's David here. I'm at Casino Quest in my little workshop after hours working on some strategies that have been submitted uh, by some fans and you're always welcome to submit your strategies. CasinoQuest.biz. I forget which heading but if, if you look up top there you'll see the link and then you can submit your own strategy to us. We appreciate that. And so this one was submitted uh, by Buckeye Slim. And it's called the Sosa 7. It's a, it's a fairly interesting strategy. You're going to have to bear with me. You have to watch this one through uh, to the end. And by the way, if you want to work on your own strategies online, we have Crapsy.com. You can visit Crapsy.com. There's a free Craps app. It's a fantastic Craps app. I, um, I really hope you enjoy it. Uh, we're going to be working on some tournaments and uh, all sorts of uh, benefits that are coming down the line. But anyways, Crapsy.com. And uh, okay. Here we go. We're going to get right to it. Uh, I'm going to kind of explain it, give it a heads up, and then I'm going to give it a rating because I was just explained how our rating system works. I haven't really used the rating system so much other than to tell you whether I like it or not, but apparently we've had a rating system this whole time. Uh, okay, so uh, here is the scenario. So here in Vegas, you know, a lot of tables have gone from, you know, there's not a lot of $5 tables, not even a lot of $10 tables sometimes. You, you'll find yourself at a casino and all you can find is a $25 table. And for those of you who like betting place bets to the line, it can get really expensive really quick. So due to this, uh, this person and their friend came up with this system uh, and it, it's called the Sosa 7. It's a way of, to come in with short money. Let's say you only have $300 and you find yourself on a $25 table. It's not a lot of options, not a lot of ways to take advantage of a crap table, except something like this okay now for those of you out there who love hopping bets or have integrated hopping bets two-way bets through your bets this type of thing into your systems you might like this all right now i will say this so first the bankroll is my suggested bankroll for this system is 500 600 dollars but the system says 300 so we're going to work with that uh and um the, the, the strategy requires some knowledge of dice, okay, and craps. I would say you really need to be an expert at craps. Now, once you understand the bets, it's pretty easy to throw the bets out there, get your dealer working, but now you're going to have to really stay awake and attentive. So if you're having way too much fun at the casino, uh, this might not be the strategy for you because you really got to focus. While I was working this out on our Patreon site, I, I lost focus and it disintegrated and this kind of thing. So uh, you definitely have to focus on this. So here's how it plays out. So I'm going to go ahead and put the $300 right here. Okay, we're going to get two in green and $100 in red. Okay, and the strategy works with $40 in the field and $10 each on the hopping easy six and eight. Okay, and as we know, there's 16 ways to win in the field, 20 ways to lose. And here you have four, eight ways. So 16 and eight, you have 24 ways with which ways of the dice with which the strategy will win and 12 ways with which this strategy will lose. And the way, those ways are clearly the big red, right? The five and the hard six and eight. Those are all losers currently, but we're gonna upgrade the scenario real quick. So what happens is, on the first $20 win, we're gonna split that $20 and we're gonna add a hard six and eight all day. On the next $40 we win or $50 we win, we're gonna add the five. And ultimately we're gonna to try to get to 30 ways to win and only six ways to lose where we only lose on the big red. Now it's called the Sosa 7. I'm assuming Sosa is the name of the person who first worked this out. And um, the Sosa 7 is you wanna seven rolls and you're done. Okay, so seven rolls, you take down everything and you sort of retreat. And at that point, you hopefully have enough money to where you can just afford $110 inside, but then that's a whole nother system. So this is really a system to kind of work short money, build up a little bankroll, and then create an opportunity and play into a, a higher limit table, like a $25 table, okay? Which is not the worst thing. I've been in a lot of places where I started, let's say on a penny machine or a nickel machine. I worked myself all the way up to those 25 cent machines. So I've done that many times, luckily. Okay, and that's the idea here. All right, so we have Dennis in the background. He's gonna keep track of the rolls because like I said, you gotta stay alert for this one. If you're not alert, you're gonna lose track of the system. The bets are gonna come down. If you miss a roll uh, and the dealers are gonna take your, your, your hopping bets down or you miss putting your field back, obviously, then the system is no longer in play. All right, so you definitely have to stay attentive and you need to know what these pay. 
So a lot of times, you know, dealers aren't perfect. I'm not perfect. I make plenty of mistakes, as we all know. Uh, and if a dealer doesn't pay these correctly, also, uh, it, you know, that's going to take away for the system. Now, the last thing I will add is you definitely want to play this at a place that has what we call downtown odds or higher level odds. Not to say all downtown casinos have the higher level odds, but you're going to want to look for a 16 for one on the low side and 31 for one on the high side because, again, you have these hopping bets here. So you're going to want to max out what those, those easy ways pay. You also ideally want to play at a place that has double on the two and triple on the 12. There are no casinos left that I know about that do triple on both uh, like there is on this layout. We give everybody that comes to Casino Quest a little bonus. Uh, but you will find places that only pay double on the 2 and the 12. So if you could find a place that has double on the 2, triple on the 12, and then 16 for 1 on the easy ways, that's a win. That's where you want to play the system at. Okay, let's go. I'm just going to roll the dice right here so everybody can see what's going on. We're going to play this money out real quickly and see how it works. 10 easy, 10. Now, uh, one more point. We don't care about the point. Because we have hobby bets and field bets, the point doesn't matter. So we don't even have the puck in view. So the point's 10, mark the 10, yada, yada. It really doesn't matter. If someone were to make a point, not make a point, you want your bets to be working all the time. So any bets you put up here, just work, work, work. Okay? So keep that in mind. For the seven rolls, your bets always work. Another thing you're going to have to keep in mind when you play this system and let your dealer know all your bets are working. Okay. So 10 easy. So here's what happens. You lose the, uh, the easy six and eight on the hop, you're going to win the field bet, okay? So winning the field bet is going to net you $40 in the field, okay? And then we're going to come back on the easy six and eight, and the first $20 win, which that is, we're going to add the hard six and eight, okay? So now we started with 16, okay, and eight, so that was 24 ways with which we could win. We're adding two more ways, 25 and 26 ways to win, okay? So right now we're only down 10 ways to lose. So we only have 10 ways left that we can actually lose on the system and let's keep it up, okay? Eight, easy eight. Okay, so we're gonna lose the field. We're gonna lose the hard eight. Okay, so those are losers, but we're gonna get paid and we're gonna lose the easy uh, easy six, but we're going to get paid on this $10 easy eight, which is going to pay $70. Okay. So what's going to happen is we're going to do this. So we're going to get paid 50, up $70. Can they see this when I cut this out? $70. Let's replace one of these 25s and let's put all our action back and see where we're at. There's $40 in the field. We got the $10 hard eight back, the, the $10 easy six. We made a plus ten dollars okay that's it so we're up ten dollars there okay and now we're at roll number three no roll number this is going to be roll number three so nine center field nine again we're going to win forty dollars in the field we're going to lose 20 here we're going to net plus 20 and at this point we're going to take this 20 add to the 10 and we're going to create a five a thirty dollar five so now we have four more ways covered, so we have 30 ways to win and only six ways to lose. Not the worst position to be in, really, especially considering, you know, we have this at 30, $25 game. Remember, a $25 game playing short money. So we have $40 in the field, we have $30 in the five, we have $5, you know, we have $5 each of these ways, $5 each of these ways, $10 each, we're covered, we're good to go. Okay, roll number four, roll number four. 10 a hard way. Again, we're going to win $40 in the field minus the $20 hopping. That's going to leave us a net of $20. Okay, now at this point in the system, the idea is to get this $5 to $50 as quickly as possible and reinvest this money. Now, if you had made $50 before this because either you, you got paid a bonus in the field or if you hit a hard way, whatever the case is, but we're going to go ahead and take this $30, add $20, get to $50 on the $5. Now keep in mind, it's seven rolls, we're coming down. So this is essentially our money. We're banking our money, we're putting it at work, creating as much opportunity as we can, given you know, the conditions on the table. All right, six easy. We're on uh, roll five, that was five. That was roll five, okay. So we got a six easy, so that's not in the field, okay. Uh, the hard six and the two eight eight's gonna fall, right? 
but we get $70 for this bet, still up to win. All right, so here's the 70, oh, there's the $70, okay? We're gonna put our $40 back in the field. We need a $10 hard six and a $10 two-way eight, that's 20, all right? So let's make some change here. So $10 hard six, so I, I'm doing this all so you guys can see kind of the math, how everything works out, all right? And then we got another $10 in profit, all right. Uh, are you ready? So this is roll number six? Roll number six. Roll number six, a six easy. All right, let's do this the easy way. We're gonna get $70 for this, okay? Uh, minus this 20, that leaves us 50. Minus this 50, so again, we're gonna net a positive $10, okay? Everybody see how that works? So we got $70 leaving this bet up to win, okay? Minus this is 60. Minus here is 50, minus the 40, leaving us $10 profit, okay? All right, this is the last roll. Roll number seven, uh, five, five, and no field. That's not a bad scenario. So here, we lose the two-way easies, okay? We're gonna lose the field bet. We're gonna get paid $70 for this five, and now we're gonna come down on everything and see where we're at, all right? So let's do that. So that's $100, yeah. So uh, that's really good. I mean, he, he, we started with 300. Uh, there's 300. We're up $100 in seven rolls. That's not a bad way to go on a short money. Again, you're playing short money, $25 table. You're in 300, out plus $100. And nothing real serious, pretty average rolls. Not the worst thing. I'm going to go ahead and rate it a plum because apparently we love plums. I love plums. I don't know why it's like, you know, up there on a rating system, but I'm going to go with that. For those of you who follow our CUG channel, we're going to plumb it up. All right. So uh, David gives it a plumb. Thumbs up for this one. Not all the way up. Uh, you can't create too much opportunity, but, but that's not bad. Seven rolls in, 30 ways to win, six ways to lose as we got to the end and we got out. All right. Should I do this again or are we out of time? One more, okay, let's test it. Let's test it one more. I've been told we have one more chance to go. All right, so here we go, ready? All right, let's do this again. Let us come in another $300, okay? Uh, we're gonna start over. Or you know what I could do is just, should I leave the same $400 I had and just go with that? Let's see, let's just keep going. All right, let's just keep going. You guys all saw it, I had $400, okay? All right. And uh, let's start over. We got out with our seven, so we got 40. And now we start again with our easy six, easy eight. And here's our dice, okay? So here's our money. All right, I'm gonna put our money right there. All right, okay, so what are we trying to do now? All right, let's go, we're coming out. It doesn't matter where we are in the dice. The, the point absolutely doesn't matter. All you have to focus on is keeping everything working. So the hard six and eight, if someone should come out on a point and then be off, you want to make sure your hard ways are working and your five. If you have, happen to have a five still in play within those seven rolls and we're coming out, you want to make sure that the five is working. So tell your dealer when you walk up, wherever we're at in the roll, I want all my bets working all the time and they have to have, that's a contract bet. That's a contract bet. Let them know that you want your bets working. Okay, here we go. Six easy, six easy. So we're going to lose the field, right? We're gonna lose the easy eight. We're gonna pay, get paid $70 here, okay? So here we go, $70, and then we're gonna make, make a little change. We're gonna put our $40 back in the field. We're gonna put our easy eight up, and we're gonna add a hard six and eight. And again, we had 16, 20, 24 ways to win, right? Now we've added two more, 25, 26. Now we're at 26 ways to win, 10 ways to lose, okay? All right, let's roll again. That was roll number one. Roll number two, uh, seven. That's gonna suck and set us back the seven. I mean, the seven's always kind of a downer, right? There's, a lot of, there's not a lot of, way, unless you're on the don'ts and you got a point and you figured out some lay. so we're just gonna lock all that up and start over, all right? Uh, so let's reset. So let's reset. We're gonna roll number zero. We're gonna play out one more time, see if we can get to seven. $40 in the field, easy way, six and eight. Rule number one, coming up. Here we go. Six easy, all right, again, 70 minus 50. That's gonna leave me $20, and we're gonna add the six and eight, okay? Uh, so now with 26 ways to win, 
10 ways to lose. Here we go. Uh, three craps. All right, three craps. We're going to lose these 20, but we're going to gain 40, so we're going to be plus $20. Okay, we're going to put that right here. We're going to bank that for a second. All right. Next, we have nine, the center field nine. We're going to lose the hopping bets, win the field. We're going to be plus 20. And at this point, we have two $20 wins. We want to go on the five for $40, all right, because we have that 40. If we were at 30, we would have gone on the five for 30. And if we had, had happened to have an extra 50 by that third roll, we would add $50 on the five and bank whatever else. So the idea is just to get this to 50, and then whatever else is just a bonus, okay? Okay, ready? Here we go. That's roll number three now, right, for this new one. Uh, six easy. Wow, did you see that? It rolled right out. All right, so six easy. That's a no field, no easy eight, no, uh, no hard six. So we're going to net ourselves just $10, okay? So we've got 70 minus 10 is 60 minus 10 is 50 minus 40 leaves us a positive $10. All right, this is roll number four? Roll four. Four, okay, good. Uh, three craps, all right? So uh, we're going to be plus 20. We're going to be plus 20 because we're going to win 40 in the field minus the $20 hopping bets. And again, let's look at this again. So we have uh, 30 ways to win, six ways to lose. We've got the five covered. We've got everything covered except for the big red. Okay, so 30 ways to win, six ways to lose. Okay, roll number five. Six a hard way. There we go. All right, so we have no field, no easy way. So minus 40, 50, 60 plus 90. So that leaves us net. 30, okay? Now here is where we're going to use this little bonus money and go up $10. Uh, and now we're going to be at a $50 five because that's the idea is to get this five to 50. And uh, again, we're banking this money for the roll. Roll number six, a nine, and we love nines. So we've got 40 minus 20. That leaves us net positive $20. Last roll, okay, for all the marbles. Let's see it. 10 a hard way, we like a 10 hard. So again, we're gonna lose these. We're gonna get $40 in the field. Let me just go ahead and do 50 for 10 because now we're gonna come down on everything. And let's see where we're at. Remember, we had one, one little setback there with the seven. And now let's see where we're at. We were up 100, let's see if we've if improved. Wow, there's our 100. Oh my God, we're up exactly another 100 again. So $300, I'm liking this one better and better, to be honest with you. I almost think it's a system in itself. So the, the submitter, the person that submitted the system talked about really going to 110. So starting with 300, short money, $25 table, and then being able to sort of afford a $25 table. You generate a little extra money from this system and then move to a regular $25 system betting place bets. But on, on its own, so far, this has worked out well. Even with one seven after the second or third roll, okay, I'm moving it up to Peach. I'm moving it up to Peach, full thumbs up. I like this system. So far, even on Patreon, I ended up a winner. I ended up a winner on Patreon, right? I ended up a winner on Patreon. Two more winners here. I like it. Good stuff. Uh, thank you so much for your submission, sir. And it's the Sosa 7. Hope you enjoy. Thanks for playing. We'll see you next time. Take care. Bye, guys.